It's being called a nail gun on steroids, but its power is helping put an end to area landslides caused by the floods back in August. And as New Center's Jennifer Hoff shows us, this power tool is not only quick and strong, it's saving taxpayers a lot of money. Do it greener, do it simpler, do it cheaper, faster. That's the idea behind the soil nail launcher, a two-ton firing machine. Tim Ruckman sits behind the wheel, aims a 20-foot long steel pipe, and then drives it at 220 miles per hour into the slope below. But before the gun can even shoot, all drivers have to stop. They don't have to stop for long on Stockton Hill in Winona County, just until after the pipe smashes into the earth. And so that hiss and then an immediate bang is, is the fire button. The equipment isn't new. The company bought it six years ago. And we've been fixing landslides ever since. But it's the first time that it's being used for a MINDOT project. The August floods damaged more than 100 roadside slopes. This machine will make them stronger. 500 nails will dot this hill, creating a grid-like pattern to hold up the earth. And it will be done quickly. More than 100 of those nails can be launched a day. We don't want to slow that nail down with any any extra force. So. Fixing it fast, all while saving you money. So if we're able to utilize that, the county or, or DOT labor, that, that helps uh, make it much less expensive as well. It's also an innovative approach to solving a month-long problem of landslides. In Winona County, Jennifer Hoff, KTTC News Center. And when crews finish Stockton Hill, they'll move on to Highway 61 and 76. The million and a half dollar project will be paid for through the Disaster Relief Fund, which was recently approved by state lawmakers and the governor.